Mission San Francisco Solano, number 21, the last one on the Mission Trail. The end of the Mission Trail. The last one built in 1823 is this one, Mission San Francisco Solano. This mission was uh, built uh, based on the uh, idea of a uh, father from uh, in San Francisco, Aziz. He wanted to move to better climate, which is normal. I left today San Francisco, it was 57 degrees. I came here in 45 minutes drive, it's 82. So in August, 55 degrees and cloudy. You can understand why he wanted to move the mission. It was long political process from both sides, the state, the Spain, Mexico, and the church, and the mission system. Finally, he got it, he started something in 1821, and finally, in, on July 4th, 1823, Padre Jose Altamira found this mission, and the soldiers erected the cross at the spot where the mission church will be. This was, in 1823, after Mexico established independence from the Spain. And mission lasted only 11 years to 1834, when the secularization killed the mission system. Today, mission is a part of a California State Park in a colorful Sonoma, little wine country town, but very rich with the history. Mission is established also with some political reasons to stop Russians who built a fort on the Pacific Ocean, Fort Ross, I think. Yeah, and uh, it was important to stop them going more inland. And that's why the mission trail ends here, and this mission was built, like I said, with also those political reasons to stop Russians. Even the Russian church also worked with the mission and helped while they were building. This room has a collection of uh, paintings of uh, each mission. That would be interesting if you're an artist, just travel, visit all 21 and do your own version painting. This mission had 11 years only life and uh, couldn't uh, accomplish much comparing to other missions that existed much longer, but uh, they had uh, great weather here and much better environment for raising cattle, sheep, grapes. Original church that was built here was uh, made on some wood planks and later it was destroyed and this church was built as a parish church. Church is very simple in design on the wall, you can see 14 stages of cross. And a couple of other paintings. But when the decision was made that San Francisco mission will stay open, they needed the new saint. And they selected the name San Francisco Solano. And he was a 17th century missionary who went to South America to do the work. Even with a short life of only 11 years, the mission accomplished number of uh, conversion, baptized uh, Indians, built the property, had uh, like 5,000 uh, sheep.
sheep, a uh, thousand horses, cattle, and probably started wine in this area. That's who started, Franciscans started Napa Valley. Everything was destroyed with uh, Mexican secularization. Property was divided, given to natives. They pick up moving pieces and went back to their uh, villages. Nobody was left here and mission was falling apart. In uh, 1863, President Lincoln gave the mission back to Catholic Church, all missions back to Catholic Church, and then uh, some of them were restored, but some of them uh, left the way they are. In 1906, uh, some society, a group of people purchased this property and uh, for historic reasons, and that's how it became part of the California State Park system. This is just across the street of, uh, from the mission, barracks of Sonoma. That's where the soldiers were uh, living. So in order to buffer the Russian expansion, expansion from Port Ross, Mexican soldiers came from Presidio of San Francisco in 1834, created a new military post. The Sonoma Barracks was built to house these young uh, Californians who were serving 10-year enlistments in Mexican army. They were paid and the majority of salary was held back to purchase the uniform and equipment. For 10 years until uh, 1844, the Presidial Company at Sonoma was generally the most powerful military force in California. And this is where they lived. <laughs> 